guys, it's Queen Deidre, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to to episode 11 and 12 of Gaon. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> So yes, I know I didn't release anything last week. I'm sorry. Um, something important came up and I had to postpone it. And I was just like, just for a day, just for a week. You'll be fine. It'll be okay. No, honey, I don't think you want to see last year's because uh, Mio's underwear was shown to everybody. And <laughs> I don't think Mio wants to... You Are you serious? <laughs> you live not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god but i missed this show like honestly i because it was so weird like when wednesday came and i was like oh snap i still gotta watch this week's k on for next week and i was like damn it feels weird not to have k on come out on a, like on one day even though i'm like as of next week we'll be done with season one and on to season two but yeah I just, I don't know. I think I, like, with some things coming up with new projects and new reactions that I have to do specifically for, like, Patreon. Um, and it's going to be really hectic with all the shows, especially, like, spring shows, which we are not even at the halfway point for spring shows. I think I'm, like, two weeks we will. Um, plus, anything that I'm watching on the side as, like, a non-Patreon series. Yeah. Sometimes it'll be a little too much for me and I'm like, I, I need to postpone something so that I can get other stuff done. Because, like, um, I think this might be the last thing I'll be recording today. But if I have time, I'm probably going to record Girls Last Tour or I'm going to record it tomorrow, either before or after Attack on Titan comes out. <laughs> And I'm still wondering how the hell I'm gonna do this damn movie. Yeah, her deep voice. <laughs> so what's the pinch that they're gonna... Do it now so you don't have to work. Of course, Mio would kick her ass. Yeah, you guys don't have a band name yet. Don't have one. No. How about Scooby Gang? <laughs> I mean, it works for Scooby Doo, it worked for Buffy, and it could work for you guys. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, write a whole bunch down and then you all talk to each other on the phone and then you just indicate it until you all can agree on one. Oh, that was, that's it. I, okay, now I remember. I remember now. I remember now. She needs to get it, like, tuned. Yeah. Yes, Yui! He's gonna explode. Yeah, I mean, your guitar is technically your baby, so. <laughs> I, I, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. And so what Johnson say, like, mm -mm, I'm gonna eat. Take it to a shop. Take it to Mama Moogie's shop. There you go. But then you're gonna have to pay money for it. You need to you excuse me. Have money. Do you even have enough? I'm scared to say how he gonna react to this. Uh -huh. God, it's only really been a year. Like, Jesus. Yuri? Oh my god, Yui! Because <laughs> she really wanted it. She thought it looked pretty. That too. But it just, it called to her. Yeah. She likes cute things. Best girl, it's okay. Oh, that was quick. <gasps> so nice and pretty. <laughs> she literally gave her guitar a name. Excuse me? Mama Moogie to the rescue. I don't think Moogie knew that either. Huh? 
Yeah, be glad. Is Mio still over there looking at the freaking base? Mio. Mio. Come on. Time to go. Damn. And Mio died. Oh. This might cause a rift in the relationship together. I mean, because we've never seen Rizzo and Mio fight, fight. Like, normally it's just Mio who just argues and Reap time just says what she's got to say. Look at her. Mm -hmm. The rift. The rift between these two right there. Oh my god. No. Why are you doing this to me? Is this because I didn't watch this last week? Yeah, it's typical you need. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, just stalking you. <laughs> See, Ritsu is just jealous. That's the thing. Oh, damn. Because I feel like because of the fact is that these two are now in a class together and Ritsu is not in a class with Mio, she feels like their bond is just slowly dying. And she's trying to do everything to still be a part of Mio's life. But it's just going worse and worse until she's going to have nothing. Will you stop? No. Yeah, but this, see, I told you, I told you, I told you. Are you gonna put the cat ears on? Is that where that giving? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Mm. 
What's up? Is anybody gonna think? Of course. You just practice because Ritsu is not as Mio and Mio is not as Ritsu and so now we're kind of not getting anything solved. This was the pinch. Not the, the freaking Yui's guitar getting fixed. This. I got to a fight. That too? <laughs> The all just had to get cancelled. You're gonna have to. What else can you do? You can't always wait for her. Mm. I think the only one that could get her to come back is Mio herself. Even though her and Mio are in this predicament as of now, but Okay. Why don't you guys all go find her and talk to her? She's not going to come. There's no way in hell she's going to come. She just feels depressed because the one person that she really, really loves and cares for called her stupid. So, yeah. Of course she's at home. Well, at least we finally get to see her house. I mean, dang. Because we've seen Moogies, we've seen Yui's, I don't think we've seen Mio's. You know, you're just making yourself sick stressing about this. And, you know what? She's already sick. <laughs> I can probably see, you know, some people ship these two together. And they're, like, I mean, their relationship's really good. Mm. Yeah, it's okay. But still, you're stressing yourself out as well. So, just chill. Mm. Are you angry? I'm so cute. Oh, Mio. I gotta tell you, they remind me a lot of Aine and Mio from my country stars. <laughs> Not stars, friends. My bad. I always get that messed up. <laughs> no, you're not. Oh. Just stay in bed. <laughs> you big baby.
You still didn't sign the thing. She was there. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank you. Saved by the Nadoka. Thank you. Mm -mm. No. Gum under the shoe? <laughs> It, no. No, no, no. Rocket pencil. So, what did you write? After school tea time. You know, that makes sense. <laughs> it, it makes sense, though. But, I mean, I, I do like the fact that it was about Mio and Ritsu. They, I needed an episode that was really about them. We've had other episodes really more, but kind of really testing their friendship and their relationship with each other. They're the two that have known each other for the longest out of the five girls. Five, yeah. Um, so of course, if some way if you've known someone for that long, you're gonna have like maybe one, two couple fights with them. There's some people that you may know in real life that if you've known them for a really long time, you may not even have an argument or anything with them. But like some of the people that I've known for a really long time, like kindergarten or even longer, I've had we've had some arguments. But it's just, you have an argument with someone, not to have an argument, it's just because you love them and you care about them and you want them to be okay and just, you want to help and support them in a way. And I think it was like that, but they were saved by the Nodaka, that's all. <laughs> I honestly miss this show, it's still weird that I didn't record it last week and now I'm recording it on Saturday, so yeah, it was interesting really nice episode. We don't have anything in our way now. We can just do the freaking festival, kick some ass, and then figure out what the hell is gonna happen in, like, the last two episodes of season one, which is 13 and then the OVA. Well, dang, are you ringing down? So we're still dealing with problems? Oh, you didn't even, it's not you! It, Yui. It's Yui. Yui! <laughs> oh my god. Final episode, Kayon. Episode 12. But then, okay, hold on. So then episode 13 and 14 are just OVAs? The hell? Now you know she dreaming. Say, you poor baby. Well, it is Ritsu's fault, and it's also your fault, too. You slept next to her. <laughs> Uh, it's okay though. And of course she's gonna eat that. It 
It'll be fine, Illy. Just go to school. <laughs> Let me check something real quick. But then it it's a little weird how this episode is called Final K I'm And you have 13 to 14, which are OVA. So then should I just skip 13 and 14 and just go on to season 2? I mean, no. The biggest thing is we'll know after this episode if it's, like, something important. That's the biggest thing. Because, like, I, I had a situation with Noragami. And, unfortunately, with Noragami, I, I finished the series, but I didn't do the OVAs. And I'm going to watch the OVAs on my own. But... If it's just going to immediately go into the second season, how important is 13 and 14? Like, if 13 and 14 are extremely important, then I'll record them. But if they're, like, minor, then I won't. And I really need that answer by next week. Like, specifically Wednesday, when this comes out. <laughs> so that people are like, yes, watch the dang episode. Or no, don't watch the episode. Skip those two and go on to season two. Which is 26 episodes long. Mm -mm. Well, if she... That too, when you lay beside someone... Mm, she got it from you, Baka. Yes, you. Oh, it's cute. Ah! <laughs> oh, look at the bunny outfit. <laughs> Mookie, you look good, babe. Oh. It looks so adorable. The entire day? Uh. Well, you know, the first time they did this, Yui had the deep voice syndrome and now she got a dang cold. So then who's gonna sing though? Well, no, Mio always sings. Yeah, because you never know what's going to happen like this, and then anything else could happen as well. Mm -hmm. But that might be a little hard for her. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, she's best girl, so... Are you sure? Because if you need to, just say something. Oh, Yui, hi! You feel better? Mm. Why do I feel like this is a dream again? Mm -hmm. 
What sound off? Something sounds off. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it seems like a dream. What well, she did possibly practice. Sun? You mean Mogi chan? Damn, Ui, you really got me though. <laughs> I really didn't notice because I was like, yeah, that's, that's Yui. Yui's fine. Ah. <laughs> yeah, just use Ui. She'll be fine. And then, you know, when she feels better, bring back Yui. Why? Oh, hey, Yui! Yeah, how's your cold? Are you sure? Oh, God, that's so gross. Wait, wait, oh my god. Uh -huh. You poor thing. You're not going to be able to perform tomorrow. Oh. <gasps> you poor thing. Just use Uli. And I, I, I'm saying that with like the nicest way, but if you have to, cancel. Hi. My best girl, I love her so much. But then how many days do you have love? Oh, that was me a couple of weeks ago during allergy season. Even though it's still technically allergy season now. All better, okay? She's gonna feel better by the end of this episode. I swear to God, if she's not, we're gonna have some problems. You do not end season one like this. I, I swear to you. Mm -mm. And what time did I start? Yeah. Because then you might have to perform without her, too. You me? Hmm. I was expecting you. No. Right. 
I know she's worried about her too. Oh my god. Okay, what's she about to do? What is she doing? Hmm? <laughs> I'm guessing because she never gives up on anything. Uh-uh. Then what was you doing? <gasps> Yui! Hi, honey bunny! Are you Ui? Nope, that's Yui! No, because they're No. I'm dead. Why the heck doesn't Vanity like, oh my god, no, please. <laughs> She's gonna get sick. Why doesn't Vanity, um, I know they have songs, of course, but like, why doesn't Vanity make like a gotcha for this? They just recently made a gotcha for, um, Is the Order a Rabbit or something like that with, a uh, Pastel Palette. So, like, why don't they just do Kaon? Because, I mean, Kaon, it, it's the 10 year anniversary. Oh. Really? Is she literally gonna run home, get the guitar, come back, and just <laughs> be like, yes, I am ready to go? After school tea time. After school tea time. Yes. <laughs> the cutest name ever, honestly. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder if this song is going to be from that gif I used. Okay, now run back. Oh, oh God. Make it, Yui, make it. This is like the freaking Ote episode all over again from Bandere season two.
Make it, girl. I swear to God. If she don't make that, I'm gonna cry. Your place in life, or really your purpose in life. Get to the gym. I mean, at the gym, the auditorium. <sighs> you made it though. That's all that matters. It's actually since all of since I like freaking perform badass as fuck. Nah, Yui, don't be sorry. You made it. No, honey. No. Oh, it's okay. And plus, I'm sick. <laughs> Are they gonna do fly one? <laughs> I feel like I'm watching the last episode of Love Live all over again, and I feel like I'm going to cry, but I don't want to cry right now. <laughs> How you feel?
Dang, I might have to say final thoughts on this if this is truly the last episode. Which it is. And I really didn't think I was going to say final thoughts already, but like, mm -hmm. Because originally I was thinking like, oh no, I think I'm going to wait until the show is overall done and then... <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Okay. So this is a little weird, but final thoughts on like the first half of this show. I really did enjoy this. I think these girls are really very talented. I can't wait to see some of these songs that are gonna they're, they're gonna talk about and do in season two. The one song that I'm really looking for, I don't remember what I saw and the what the gif I posted of. I it had um Neo and um Yui together and they were sharing a mic and they were boasting at the same time. And Yui is wearing some hoop earrings and she looks really nice in them and I'm just like whatever that song is I feel like that song is probably going to be the best song and even though if it's in season 2 it's going to be a good ass song now what I'm possibly expecting in like 13 and 14 if they're both considered OVAs probably just something witty and fun that isn't really canon to this story overall just like a filler happy filler episode it could be like two other fan service episodes if they wanted it to do it like that i'm not really sure how they did this but it could literally be anything and it's gonna be good but the biggest thing is i won't know until next wednesday if it's gonna be necessary for me to truly watch the show or i'll find out like in a minute if they have a preview of it yeah extra winter day so yeah so okay 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 so yeah i'll watch them just to wonder what the heck happened with that one and then probably 14 and just to see because it doesn't seem like it is canon to the show it's just extra things that they're gonna do and i mean it's chaos so having extra episodes isn't all that bad but like video to video like some people say like nah i'm not really gonna watch the extra episodes because they're um there doesn't really need to have, like need to be done if it's just not gonna be um, <clears throat> stuff that they're going to talk about like in the next season. But no, I think it's gonna be a little interesting to just see these two OVAs. Now it could whatever happens in thirteen and fourteen um, could be talked about in the second half of the show when we get to season two. But I, I'm not really one hundred percent sure. I ain't gonna know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episodes <laughs> 11 and 12 of k -On. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys all officially next Wednesday. Yes, I'm not going to be us. I am going to postpone k -On for another week. I am actually going to have it out again next, uh, next Wednesday since now I know that it is kind of really important to watch these two episodes. Um for episode 13 14 and then after those two we will officially start season two which is possibly like it, it's long but i i didn't expect that it would have been 26 episodes long i actually thought that the show would have been for season two maybe 13 and then kind of like both series together would have been an equivalent number of 26 but with 26 episodes um I think a lot of ish is going to go down. I think they're going to be a lot more popular than they were. Because this was just like the start of them finally coming together. And then the biggest issue I think we're going to probably go into is because the fact is um, Mugi, Mio, Yui, and Ritsu, they're all third years. And best girl is a first year. So when they graduate, she's going to be on her own. And I'm hoping that they're going to talk about that in season two. And if she would continue the legacy. Almost how like when Love Live um, season two ended 
and they were talking about how the third years were graduating and everybody else, like the second years were going to become for, uh, third years and the first years were going to become second years that would they possibly continue it on? And in the end, they just said, no, I think it's just better to have us nine be muse forever and not have someone else come in because they were the ones who saved the school. I mean, and thank God, like, Aquas didn't do it because I think it would have been really weird if they had, like, new girls come in every single year. But I think for this next season, possibly, they're going to have a situation like that. Will it make me cry like Love Alive did? Possibly, because I know I'm a tearjerker person. But, yeah, until then, I will see you guys all officially next Wednesday. Bye, guys.